Hello, this is uh, Detected from Tekkid.tumblr.com, and today I will be finally posting a video uh, guide on how to make app images. Now, um, I originally promised this guide video video tutorial like two weeks ago, but because of college work and uh, technical difficulties, I have not been able to post it. Now, I have finally gotten it to work after like ten tries. So. Here's what you need um, in order to make one. First of all, you will folder. First of all, you need uh, App Door Assistant and App Image Assistant. All right, and uh, both of those can be acquired at both of those can be acquired at portablelinuxapps.org. You scroll all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, all the way down. You see all your tools here. Um, app Images System Point Online and After System Point Three. You need both of those. Okay, or if you're watching this video, just a voice version. All right. So besides that, let's jump right into making one. All right. So got point three and point nine. All right. So first of all, fire up App Door System and click forward and it'll give you an error that you're using cruise and basic we'll go ahead and ignore that it, it always gives me an error i use a very old version of ubuntu and still gave me the error so i just finally give up on click forward we is going to pre-scan the um your system to see what application is already installed pre-scanning should be very quick now let's say go ahead and please install your application now so Go ahead and you install whichever you want, be a dev, app get, yum, whatever. Personally, I'm using Ubuntu and I'm using the Ubuntu Software Center. Now, um, I'm going to install LeafPad, just because it's like fairly small. Install free. Alrighty. Um, install. There we go. Yeah, I already installed it, so that probably had to. Alright, just installed it. I'm going to minimize this. Click forward. It's going to do a post scan. Now, and that's the part where it might take a little while. Um, it's going to open up the program here. This is LeafPad. Don't close it out just yet. Or actually, if you, if you see this starting to hang, go ahead and uh, close this out. Um, close this out and see how it's continuing. Click done. Now, let me go ahead and remove it. Alrighty, now just to prove it works, go into the leafpad.after, click the app run. Yep, it works. Cool, now. So change this from title no. Um now if you want an icon, right now there isn't one here, but if you want an icon, realize you can go to here and just copy to copy to the desktop here and put this in here. So it's got an icon now. All right, now close this up and open up App Image Assistant. Forward, and then ask you to select your app. You know, select your uh, app there. Okay. In my case, is going to be in the, on my desktop. So going to the pod app there. You actually have to go inside of it, and then click forward. And well, oh, that was quick. And close. Let's run LeapPad. Oh, look at there. Runs right up. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. I, I, I don't know why the icon didn't pop up. It really, it should pop up by default. Um, but anyways, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, please note, uh, this, even though this worked for LeapPad, this isn't guaranteed to work for every single app out there. Um... <coughs> Um, I've tried to install some apps and they just hung on me or for whatever reason it just didn't work. 
So, um, but a relief pad, it works. Just, uh, if you don't, you know, um, so if it don't work for the first app, don't give up. Um, just try different apps and it'll, it should work for most. Um, and of course, as the software matures more, it's going to work for more and more. But, um, yeah, that's my tutorial on how to build an app girl. Thanks.